for BYU. We have head coach Jeff Judkins, student athletes Danny Peterson, and Haley Steed. First coach, if you could, opening statement on the tournament championship. Well, I, I can't be more proud of my team. Um, we've gone through a lot this year. Um, things looked bad sometimes, and I thought tonight was one of our best performances as a team. Um, Gonzaga came out on fire. I thought they shot the ball really well the first bit of the game, and fortunate for us, we, were, we shot the ball well, too, to, to really stay with them. But, um, you know, it's a team effort, and that, this is what this team's been about from day one is that nobody cares who gets who gets the basket or whatever it's it's team tonight it was peterson's night you know she's waited for this for a long long time and to be able to come in and hit and play the kind of game that she played was great and this is what this team's so fun to coach is that none of them care who who, who really gets the credit and i think it starts with haley haley's leader and runs her team and does what she's supposed to and um it makes things a lot easier i'm really proud it's a great you know, I, I want to say also that Gonzaga is a great team and uh, just, a, I think, a first-class program. And uh, Kelly, or Coach Graves, does a great job. And uh, it's sad to see somebody lose tonight because I think both teams deserve to go in the NCAA tournament. Danny, can you talk about the keys to the win this afternoon? Um, I think defensively was our mindset. We didn't want to give them anything easy. They have really good players all around. Um, and last time we played them, their bigs, um, you know, went off on us. And so that was kind of a focus to make um, their guards beat us from the outside. And over, uh, they got their points, but I feel overall we did a great job on defense, and that was a huge thing for us. Haley, can you talk about winning the tournament championship in your first year in the West Coast Conference? <laughs> I don't care what conference we're in. This is fun. <laughs> um, our team played together today. I'm so proud of everybody. I can think of a big play that every single person that played today made. Um, Danny played the best game I've ever seen her play. Jen gave us huge inside presence, and I don't know. I'm just happy. I think we played together and really proud of our team. Questions first for the student athletes, please. Jason? Haley, you, you get taken out of the game in about 45 seconds. I'm sure there's kind of a lot rushing through your head. Can you sum up maybe what you're thinking of that? Uh, once I saw Gonzaga sub all their their bench in, um, it kind of hit me, and then I saw Jody starting to sub, and the emotions just came. I couldn't control it. It was just kind of like uh, an accumulation of all the hard work that this team has put in, and everything that we've been through, eat as individuals and as a team, kind of just all hit me at once, and uh, it was it's all been worth it. Everything that we fought through and. Um, today was a special day for us. Jay? Danny, can you just talk about having what Haley said was your best game uh, on this kind of stage, this type of atmosphere? I'm honored that you said that. And, you know, well, our team, it doesn't matter who scores the points. You know, last game, Lexi had a career high. And that's the thing about our team is you can't guard us. You know, it's not like we have one person that you have to shut down. We have eight girls, ten girls. Our whole bench are so good. That and tonight was just my night. You know, I got balls in great position thanks to our guards driving and kicking it, and so it was a team effort. But it does feel good to finally play a great game to win a championship because um, it's our goal, you know, to win this tournament and go to the NCAA tournament. So it's going to be so nice knowing on Selection Sunday that we can go watch as a team, knowing our name will be called. So we're excited. Jay, is that your favorite spot that? 15, 18, 14. I'll answer that for her, yes. <laughs> today was her yeah, favorite today spot. and against Gonzaga last time, for some reason, <laughs> I, I like that block over there. And so when someone drives, and that, I just kick out to that side. And so I'm, I'm there a lot. And so and it just, I hit the first few and just got my confidence up. And they just kept coming. So I took them. Danny, you got a couple of rebounds late, though, which really allowed the team to run the clock and even have your maybe the bat into the floor. Yeah, I, I said don't leave, like, use all your energy. Leave everything on the floor. And I honestly could say that we all did that. I was exhausted. You know, at one point I told Jody I was tired and I wanted out. But he said Jen was tired, so I stayed in there. And that's the thing about our team. We're going to give everything, offense and defense. We 
get our offense from our defense, so I wanted to focus more on our defense because at that point in the game, we were already up. So if they couldn't score anymore, we were going to win. So I was going to give everything I had to not let them score. So. What were they doing that gave you the most trouble? Um, they do that pick and roll a lot, so, and they have great guard. Um, for me, their bigs can drive and shoot. So it's just hard knowing you know, to play them for the drive or the shot because they can do both. They're a very talented team, and all of them, well, they're well-rounded. And so that's hard just knowing what to do because when you have a great team like that, they're going to adapt. They have a great coach, and so it's just knowing what they're going to do. Danny, what did you want to do with the inside kids? You mentioned they went off the last game. But what was the strategy to make them go to the perimeter more? Um, we just... <clears throat> For mainly on the one down, we just tried to not let them get to the block first. So we switched to the pick and roll, and we just, as the girl that set the screen rolled, we just tried to keep her as high to the free throw line as possible. We didn't want them to get in their, their sweet spots, you know. And Standish, she likes the block, and Redmond likes it high. So she was um, popping high as Standish rolled. So I tried to take Standish and just keep her high. And then our guards and Riley or Jen, <clears throat> any other guard, um, person guarding Redmond just tried to deny her and just not let them get what they wanted off that play. Anything further for the student athletes? Jay? Haley, can you just describe the feeling of finally ending the drought and getting back to the NCAA tournament, which you guys have kind of Yeah, it's been forever. And especially we've kind of um, been in a drought in the conference tournaments. Uh, we haven't won a conference tournament game in – I don't know, it's been four or five years. So Saturday was fun, and we wanted to take one more step and win this because we, we really didn't feel like, you know, we were going to get into the NCAA tournament unless we won this game. And we haven't been for a long time, and that's ex that was our number one goal. Over anything else, we wanted to be in the NCAA tournament this year. Final question for the student-athletes? Okay, student-athletes are excused. Thank you. I love you guys. Questions for Coach Judkins? Jason? Jeff, I think Haley just hit on it. Do you view this? I know publicly you've lobbied for two teams in this league, but do you view this as a must win game? And was that talked about with the players? Yes. You know, I thought last year we deserved to go to the tournament. We won our conference handily, and, and we lost in the last second shot. And so I think Haley and these seniors have been around that and realized why I put it in somebody else's hand. You know, I, I've, I, I've told my team this all year. I said, don't put it, don't put, you know, situations in somebody else's hands. You take care of it. You know, we had a chance of tying for the conference championship at Gonzaga and we lost. I told one of our goals was to win the, win, win the tournament. It was in our hands. They took care of it. And now one of our big goals is to go to the NCAA tournament. And I'll tell you right now, it's not just going to the tournament. We want to cause damage. We want to represent this conference and, our, and, and, our university so that when next time it comes that we do well, that the NCAA will look at, at it and say, hey, the West Coast Conference deserves two or three teams in it. And so, um, I mean, that's what our big focus is. Yes. Um, Coach Hitchens, what do you do from now until the NCAA tournament with the team? Well, today we party. You know, we're going to have a good time and enjoy this win. Um, and we're going to have some time. We need to catch up on school. I know everybody hears that, but... We miss a lot of school and try to catch up and get ahead. And then just work on things that we need to get better at. Um, I think Gonzaga makes you see some of your weaknesses that you have to work on, and there's things that, that, that uh, we need to do. And whatever Danny Peterson drank today, I'm going to make sure she drinks that for the next few games because I thought she played a game of her life. And, uh, you know, she's had a hard career. People don't realize what she's gone through to get to where she is. And... For a coach, that's more satisfaction for me than probably winning any game is seeing a young lady develop and work and sacrifice and do what she needs to do and then have the success was something that uh, I'll always remember. Jason. Jeff, Kelly said he wasn't happy with the way his team guarded Danny on those baseline shots. Maybe what were you guys doing to get her a little space there? Well, what happened was uh, they really were pressuring our wings, and we did a lot better job this game of, of getting penetration. Haley penetrated several times today, and by her penetrating, they had to help. And so Danny was in position that she got the ball. And she got a lot, you know, the last two games, she had those opportunities. 
Um, tonight, she was just ready to shoot him. She hit a couple and got a lot of confidence. And then, you know, Riley, Riley didn't have one of her better games tonight. And usually Riley gets a lot of those shots, but Riley got in foul trouble. And I think they concentrated on her a little bit more. But I think penetration with Haley, um, I thought that uh, Lexi got in there a couple of good times and kicked it out. But, uh, you know, probably the biggest play of the game, I thought, was when Danny got that offensive rebound. I think we were up seven, and she got that rebound where they could have maybe got it and come down and scored and been a different game. But she got it in traffic. And I think when she got it, she was really – you could just tell she had fire in her eyes and she was excited about it. But, um, you know, it's, like I said earlier, this team, they just figured out how to win. You know, Jen was a force today. She made him have to guard her low post. We didn't have that presence the second time we played him. And so, you know, she got challenged and she came through. Sure. Speaking of Jen, you said yesterday you were going to maybe breathe some fire into her or whatever. <laughs> Did you do that? Um, that first game of the tournament, I let her go the first half, and then I couldn't let that happen. So at halftime, I got into her. And this last night, we had film. And I told her, I said, Jen, I don't want to have to come in at halftime and tell you to play harder. You know, this is your night. This is your tournament. The team needs you. And, and I, you know, she just she just responds. I mean, she wants to be a good player. She wants, to, she wants to do whatever it takes to win. And when she's aggressive in the post, it's our team's a lot harder to play. I mean, she's like, she's like a tree, throwing up there and just grabs it and lays it in. Anything further? Jason? Yeah, I know it's probably a lot to ask him one question, but summing up Haley's career and the ability to get to this point, were you at all surprised she wasn't picked the MVP over another one of your players? That you know, there was three players that could have got picked MVP. And, and you know, um, it, I don't think it made – I think mean, Haley's going to love saying that she won it, but I think, you know, she's not that kind of player. You know, Haley's a dream. I, you know, people don't realize how lucky you are as a coach to coach somebody like that. That's why I'm going to convince her to come back next year because I need her. And, uh, but, you know, she does everything. She, you know, I don't call anything out there. She, she's got a great, you know, to me, she's Peyton Manning. That's what she is. She runs her team. She sets it up. She does whatever it takes. She played 39 minutes tonight. They pressured her, went all, tried to get into her, force her, try to wear her down. You know, she just responds. I've only seen her tire once, and she was tired tonight. And that's why I called that timeout instead of full timeout with about three minutes. She was really kind of tired. And I thought, hey, this is, we just got to have a couple more minutes of, of you handling the, the pressure. But she hits big shots when you need them. Um, she knows time and score as well as anybody. And people don't give her enough credit. She's a great defender. I mean, she's a great defender. And um, if she was taller, I don't know if people would score on her because she's, she's, she's so smart and, and really guarding people. But... Um, She's the leader of this team. She's the MVP of this team. You know, she's every, every practice, every drill, everything, she, she controls it. And uh, um, I'm going to miss her. I've had her a long time. I've had her for six years. But I'm going to miss her when, when she takes the shoes off. Coach, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the great tournament. Congrats. Thanks, Scott.